Good afternoon. I'm Senator Gary Daniels from District 11. Today we'll be holding a meeting of the Senate Finance Committee. Before we get started, I'll read through a checklist to ensure that the meeting we are holding is in compliance with the right to know law. As chair of the Senate Finance Committee, I find that due to the state of emergency declared by the governor as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, and in accordance with the governor's emergency order number 12, pursuant to executive order 2020-04 and the extensions, this public body is authorized to meet electronically. Please note there is no physical location to observe and listen contemporaneously to this meeting, which was authorized pursuant to the governor's emergency order. In accordance with emergency order, I'm confirming that we are providing public access to the meeting by telephone with additional access possible by video and other electronic means. We are utilizing Zoom for this electronic meeting. All members of the committee and selected legislative staff have the ability to communicate contemporaneously in this meeting through this platform and the public has access to contemporaneously watch and or listen to the meeting on Zoom or YouTube and via phone by following the directions and links provided on the general court website. We have provided public notice of the necessary information for accessing the meeting in the Senate calendar. We are providing a mechanism for the public to alert the public body during the meeting if there are problems with access. If anyone has a problem, please email remotesenate at leg.state.nh.us or call 603-271-6931. In the event the public is unable to access the meeting, it will be adjourned and rescheduled. Please note that all votes taken during this meeting shall be done by roll call vote. Finally, let's start the meeting by taking roll call attendance. When each member states his or her presence, please also state where you are and if anyone else is in the room with you during this meeting, which is required under the right to know law. I will call the roll. Senator Morse. Senator Chuck Morse, I'm in the Senate chambers. Senator Hennessy. You're muted. You're muted. Thank you. Good afternoon, Aaron Hennessy from Littleton. I am in an outdoor location in Maine, and there are many people nearby. Senator Susie. Hello, Mr. Chairman. I am at my home in Manchester currently, and I am alone. I will be switching over, however, to phone because uh, I'm going to have to get in my car within about 45 minutes. Thank you. Senator Reagan. <laughs> Senator Guida. Here. Senator Rosenwald. Cindy Rosenwald, I'm in the Senate chamber. And I'm Senator Gary Daniels, and I am in the Senate chambers. I will now invite you to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Chairman, I just noticed something on fiscal this morning that I thought was great. When they were adjourning, they just asked everybody to raise their hand. Might save two minutes. It might. Then again, if we don't carry our deliberations out to the max and we'll finish three minutes. Early. Okay, uh, we're going to uh, start with the uh, agencies that are on hold. And our, our first one will be the New Hampshire Retirement System. I had had a, had a question on that. Uh, that question has been answered. It was really just in regards to the uh, significant increase uh, in the 2021 budget. Chairman. Senator Moss. I, I move the New Hampshire retirement system as presented by the House. Senator Moss moves the figures uh, in the HB2 uh, as presented by the House. Sorry. HB1 and 2, I guess. Senator Reagan, second. Senator, Senator Rosenwald. I did. I had a question about the letter, the email we all got 
this morning from Marty Carlin about sections 14 and 15 of House Bill 2. And I, I'm not sure if Senator Morris's motion was only on House Bill 1. That's how we've been doing it. Josh, can you bring up House Bill 2, 14 and 15? Because he said that it was their concerns were being addressed in House Bill 130 through an amendment, but the Senate committee recommends ITL on that bill. So I, I was just hoping we could get the retirement system to bring well, us up to date on that and what we would have to do with those two sections. I think the intention was to go over House Bill 2 on Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't hear. That uh, we will be taking up House Bill 2 on Wednesday. Oh, okay. So strike that. <clears throat> so we, we will take note of that to make sure that we do address Thank it. Thank you. The motion before us are the House figures uh, for the New Hampshire retirement system. Uh, that has been seconded by Senator Reagan. Any further discussion? Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> I'd be interested, I'd be interested to know the answer to your question that you asked that was answered. I'm sorry? I'd be interested to know the answer to the question you asked to the retirement system. Uh, the, the major part of that was that uh, there was a new system. Okay. Thank you. Put in. Seeing no further discussion, we'll call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator <clears throat> Hennessy? Yes. Uh, Senator Hennessy again? Uh, the volume's not coming through. I see you are unmuted. Try once again. Yeah. Is she, Senator Hennessy votes yes. Uh, Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. And the chair votes yes. The motion carries. And the New Hampshire right retirement system figures have been adopted. Uh, going on to the Treasury Department. <laughs> Senator Morse. I'd like to hold the Treasury Department to work through the university system and community college system. Okay. With no objection. It, may, it makes sense uh, because it has to do with the university and the college system. Going on to the Department of State. Um, Again, I had, I had questions uh, here as to the number of increase. Uh, let, let, uh, let's, let's get a motion on the table first. <clears throat> so is there a motion? Right. Senator Morse? Yeah, I'll move the house position on Department of State. Okay. Second. Uh, Senator? <clears throat> Senator Morse moves the House position on Department of State. That's seconded by Senator Hennessy. Uh, number one on the questions here, I had, I had a question as to why the uh, increase. Um, it was really in, in a, primarily for 2020. There were many more elections than, than normal. So uh, it was kind of a natural blip uh, in that. In that. Um, the second one, I, I questioned whether APA funds could be used to fund House Bill 516 relative to absentee ballots. And I don't know if I ever get an answer to that question. Please. House Bill 516 uh, did not make it out of the House at this point. Okay. All right. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, any other any other uh, action items that need to place? Senator Rosenwald. Question, are we doing all of House Bill 2 next week or 
Okay, so we're not doing any amendments on any agencies today on House Bill 2? We've been picking them up upstairs. We're listening as you speak. So I, if you're, if there's something that's changed in House Bill 2, like that we voted on normally, you know, like we could easily vote on three and four in a, in a given day. Um, we're picking them up. We're listening to you and picking them up so that when we present it back to you Wednesday, your votes are already in there. The only thing I would caution you, I agree with three. I just, until we get House Bill 1 tied up a little tighter, um, I'm not sure about, and Ways and Means gets revenues finished. Um, I don't know what to do with House, with number four, so. So we're not doing them? Or... I, up to you. I, I, could, I think they could be done together. I mean, I support three and I support four in some fashion. I just want to make sure there's enough money. Do you have any objection to holding off nope. to do three or four no, at the same time? No, I'm just wondering whether I should not raise my hand all afternoon on House Bill 2 issues. It was uh, really a I, I, th process. I think the answer is you can. We'll take those up and actually it will, it will shorten the time later. And sometimes we'll say we're going to hold it. Yeah, but okay. Cindy, I think the problem is, to be honest with us, Senator Rosenwald, the problem is you're doing all the deleting and I'm drafting as fast right. as I can, like on transitional housing. I know. Uh, I know you're deleting or you're, you're, you're carrying it over, which I agree with you. Um, so you have that in another document. I know, and you have. And I'm drafting you a sent spend, me yesterday. And I asked you if it was okay if we drafted it together. Yes. And so that's what's fine. happening with a lot of these things. I'm yeah. happy to hold all this stuff. I just want to know what the chair's preference is. I, I think there are some we can probably take care of today. Others okay. we, we may want to hold. So, so you'll just tell me. I, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be will, willing to entertain. Okay. So I won't Thanks. try to move three. Right. Okay, so we will go on to the Department of Labor. And we have one, one item on here. Did we vote on House Bill 1 on no, uh, we didn't. Department of State? Oh, no, I'm sorry. We Well, we were going to hold. Oh, yeah, I guess we can do it on the House Bill 1 part. That's it, Senator Moore. I, move, I think we moved on to pass. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. So, so Senator Moss um, moves that we adopt the House figures on House Bill 1. Second. Second. Second by Senator Hennessy. Any discussion? We'll call roll. Senator Moss? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. Chair votes yes. Mr. And Chairman. Yes. I I have no problem with voting on three today, knowing that I'm going to put money in that bucket, depending on what everything looks like financially. So I just the formula that's in three, I don't agree with, and I've told Kenny Wilder that. Um, so however you want to handle that. Uh, I think I, I would just soon hold off on it because I haven't made up my mind yet as to what the, be the best way is. So, but I think it would be simple to take them up together. Okay, we'll go on to the Department of Labor. On Ho House Bill 2 here, uh, there was uh, one amendment to delete section 128. That's amendment number 1388S. Uh, the contents of that were included in House Bill 261 that has now been signed by the governor. So this is not needed. But it, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. We need to delete section 128. I'll move on to pass. Senator Moore, Senator Moore moves ought to pass on number one. That's seconded by Senator Hennessy. Discussion? 
There being none, we'll call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion carries. Is there a motion on the Department of Labor? Oh, to pass. <laughs> Senator Rosenwald moves ought to pass on the Department of Labor. Is there a second? I, be I believe we've already approved this department, Mr. Chair. Have we? Okay. Thank you for the update. That means we can go on to the next one. Which is Public Employees Labor Relations Board. Mr. Chair, I move ought to pass. Okay, uh, Senator Hennessy moves ought to pass. Is there a second? Page second 10. by Senator Reagan. Page 10. Thank you. Discussion? There being none, um, call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. Chair votes yes. PELRB has been approved. Going on to military affairs and veterans services. I'll move item one. Is it item one or item four? Because yeah, I'm just trying to think. It looks like you're going to move an amendment, right? What it is? I think they're comboed. Yeah, they're. You want to move both? Uh, we could. I think they're the same thing. Yeah. One and two. One and four. Well, I don't two. even know if it's four. It's, it's not really even four. So. <laughs> Moving Amendment 1512S. Okay. okay. Discussion. Um, I did check on the increase uh, on that. Uh, you have you have an explanation of what was there. Um, <laughs> there were a couple couple things that contributed to this. The addition of uh, veteran <laughs> services that are now rolled into military affairs as well as community-based things. So that, that accounts for uh, the, the increase that I had a question on. Senator Guida. Yeah, was there a commensurate, maybe LBA can, was there a commensurate reduction uh, in, was it HHS where that uh, veteran services was housed, commensurate with the movement over to uh, military and veterans affairs? Yes. Uh, Veteran Services was a small separate department right. that got rolled into military affairs. So that went away and their budget is now included in military affairs. Thank you. Any further discussion? There being none, the motion is uh, to approve amendment 1512S. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. And Senator Rosenwald? Yes. The chair votes yes. And the amendment has been adopted. So a motion on military affairs and veteran services. So moved. Moved by Senator Rosenwald to approve the House figures. To yes. Second by Senator Guida. Discussion? There being none, Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion carries. Go on to the Department of Insurance. And 
Is there is there anyone on from the Department of Insurance? Chairman, I'll move so Amendment 1407S for discussion. <clears throat> Senator Morse moves Amendment 1407S, seconded by Senator Reagan. Senator Morse, you're recognized. I, if the department's on, or LBA might be able to explain this one. Yes, the uh, House Bill 2 amendment changes two positions from classified positions to unclassified. And I believe we heard from the commissioner that that was a recommendation from the Department of per uh, Administrative Services Division of Personnel. There is no cost impact to House Bill 1 or 2. Jim. Senator Morse. Can I just follow up on that? So is there another position being dealt with beyond this? Be another amendment being dealt with, or is this the only one? There was a, a, a recent request. I believe it was a letter to the members of the committee to move a position from one accounting unit to another, um, which would be no fiscal impact uh, either. Same source of funds, just moving the position from one account to another because they can't do that outside of the budget process. Further discussion? Seeing no further discussion. I'm, lo I'm looking for a uh, letter because I received something from the Department of uh, Insurance regarding regarding something else they were looking for, but I don't, I don't know that it has anything to do with uh, this. Um, so seeing no further discussion, the motion before us is the adoption of uh, 1407S. We'll call roll, Senator Morse. Yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. And the chair votes yes. Do you have that letter before you? I... I'm looking for it. Uh... Okay. Actually, they're, so they're requesting a, an amendment to House Bill 1. I uh, said the insurance department would like to add another amendment to House Bill 1. Uh, move classified position number 41777 from AU 2521 fiscal ex financial exams into AU 2520 administration. So moved for discussion. Okay. Uh, LBA. So motion by, by Senator Morse to, uh, to move this classified position. Uh, is there a second? Second to Rosenwald. Senator Rosenwald, LBA. Uh, yes. Question is regarding what are, we, what are we doing and are we spending any money? Not spending any money. It's a, a zero net change, moving a position from one accounting unit to another in the Department of Insur Insurance. No general fund impacted whatsoever. And it states that the department uh, requests this change in order to support the functions of our premium tax unit. 
Any further discussion? Seeing none, uh, the motion before us is to approve that request. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. <clears throat> Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And the chair votes yes, and the motion carries. Is there a motion on the Department of Insurance? I'll move it. Senator Rosenwell moves the <clears throat> house figures on the Department of Insurance with the changes that we have approved. Second by Senator Reagan. Any further discussion? There being none, we call roll Senator Morse. Yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. And the chair votes yes, and the motion carries. Our next one is the Veterans Home. Mr. Chairman, I'll move number two. Hey, uh, Senator Hennessy moves number two. Um, seconded by Senator Reagan. Just for clarification, are you moving to delete sections 112 and 113? That's correct. Discussion. The notation is that we, we don't need those sections uh, because of stupid of language found in section 110. Seeing no further discussion, we'll call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. The chair votes yes. Motion carries. Senator like, Rosenwald. Thank you. I'd like to move uh, number one, amendment 131S. 1317S. Senator Rosenwald moves amendment 1317S and is recognized to speak. Thank you. Oh, is there a second? I'm sorry. Um, this okay. is a I'll second, it, Mr. Chairman. Uh, seconded by Senator Susie. Uh, this is a section of Senate Bill 132, which was uh, adopted by the Senate twice, 24 to 0 then laid on the table as is customary, and it seeks a $250,000 appropriation from federal relief funds to um, hire an outside consultant to examine our infection control practices, both in the veterans home where we lost about 20% of the residents in two month period. And, um, and in our nursing homes, generally, it's a quick study report due by November 1st. Um, but I want to take that part off the table. Thank you. OK, thank you. Discussion? Senator Moss. Yeah, I'd like to pick this up in the American Rescue Fund meetings that we've been having, because I think we could fund it out of that money and not fund it in the budget. So. OK. Further discussion? Seeing none, the motion before us is Amendment 1317S. If you're in favor of that, you vote yes. If not, you vote no. Senator Morse? No. Senator Hennessy? No. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? No. Senator Guida? No. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And chair votes no. And motion motion fails uh, two to five. Is there a motion regarding the veterans home budget? 
So moved. Second. Motion by Senator Morse to approve the Veterans Home Budget. That's seconded by Senator Guida. Any discussion? There being none, we'll call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Motion carries. Going on to the Lottery Commission. Senator Morse. I move item number one. Senator Morse moves item number one. Is there a second? Second by Senator Reagan. Discussion. Senator Morse. Yeah. The, um, in item one, we'd be taking Funds in 2021, which lottery is doing well, um, paying off their debt, and then the Senate would pick up um, the fact that they don't have to pay debt service in 22 and 23. So the debt's 2.75 million. We have enough money to do it, and we make a savings in uh, 22 and 23 of 400,000. Further discussion. Seeing none, we'll call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Motion carries and number one has been adopted. Move item four. <clears throat> Senator Guida moves item four, Sorry. which is uh, amendment 1504S. That is seconded by Senator Reagan. Discussion? Senator Guida? Sure. What this does is it takes the, how, the uh, language out of House Bill 2 contingent on 626 being signed. It's waiting signature, one signature in the House to go then over the governor have it signed. And then there'll be an amendment to change the date for qualification to May 1 of 2021. Could you repeat that, please? Can you, uh, Senator Guida, can you? Can you no, no, sorry. Right. So the amendment uh, would, would take the 626 language out of House Bill 2 upon its signature into law by the governor, which is awaiting one signature in the House and then off to the governor's desk. And, it, and uh, will then amend, will be an amendment that changes the effective date, I'm sorry, that changes the qualification date for facilities to May 1 of 2021 instead of the current May 1 of 2020, and that the bill has moved forward a year because of the COVID. Okay. Further discussion? Just a question. Has Senator, House Bill 626 been, been signed? Or? What's, what's the status of House it's, Bill It's waiting a, one in one signature in Rowley, I think, in the House, and then off to the governor's desk. That's why it says contingent on signature. So if it doesn't get signed, we want it in the House Bill 2. Um, it's only, it's a procedural thing, but there's oh, a timing issue here, that's all. Mr. Chair, could I clarify something yeah. real quick? So House Bill 626 is on its way to the governor's office for signature. This amendment here, uh, 1504S, just deletes those sections. Right. Senator Guida will have another amendment right. that changes that date of qualification that he refers to. That is not part of this amendment that's on this recap as number four. That would be a separate amendment that at this point we probably would take up next week after a little bit more time passes with 626's process. Thank you for that. So just a question, if, if for some reason the governor vetoes House Bill 626, we'd have to put it back into House Bill 2? If it was the position of the finance committee and if 626 failed, you could keep it in House Bill 2, yes. So this, this amendment here, the way that this motion would be drafted is it would come out of House Bill 2 contingent upon House Bill 626 becoming law first. So if 626 does not become law, it will remain. Correct. Further discussion? Seeing none, we'll call roll. Senator Morse? 
Yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. The chair votes yes. The motion carries. Mr. Chairman, I move item number two against any accounting that's been presented. Senator Morris moves item number two. Is there a second? Second. Second by Senator Hennessy. This, this adds four positions in. Uh, this is, we understand that there is no money in the budget right now. That. Um, Probably reduce the revenues and there's nothing to account for. Good yeah. luck when you vote on that one. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll call roll. Senator Morse. Yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susi. Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion carries. Um, I did. I did ask about the increase in the budget. Um, that was primarily because uh, Kino came into being, sports betting came into being, and uh, increase in personnel cost. Chairman, Senator Moore. I move Amendment fourteen fourteen S. Senator Morris moves Amendment fourteen fourteen S. Sir. Seconded by Senator Reagan. This reduces the Kino license from 500 per year to 100. Uh, impact not expected to affect the Lottery Commission's estimated transfer to the Education Trust Fund. Any discussion? Seeing none, Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? No. Sen and Senator uh, Daniels votes yes. The motion carries six to one. Any Mr. Chairman? No. Senator Morris. Yeah. Um, in fairness, I don't know if a member voted in the wrong direction, but um, having voted on the prevailing side, if you want to reconsider our vote. Speak up, Donna. Do you want me to reconsider the vote? Um, it, it's not going to affect the outcome, but yes, I would appreciate it. Thank you, Senator Morse. Okay. Senator Morse moves reconsideration of our previous vote. That, is there a second? Second. Second by Senator Guida. We'll call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? No. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? No. And chair votes yes. Vote. Oh, oh, the motion, to, the, motion for the motion for reconsideration <laughs> passes five to I two. I just don't understand this amendment. Okay. So. I move. Yes, I have I move amendment 1414S. Second. Motion by Senator Moore, seconded by Senator Guida to adopt uh, amendment 1414S. You ready for the vote? May I ask a question, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Senator How is this not an impact to the transfer to the Education Trust Fund? Does it simply mean less revenue to lottery, or are we anticipating so many more locations that the overall amount will remain the same? She may be looking at 1412 instead of 1414. No, I'm looking at 1414. It's a reduction from 500 to $100 per year for a license fee. We, we reached really answer yeah. how many. There, there's people. approximately 200 or so Kino operators. And with this decrease, I think the, the rough estimate would be 80,000 a year potentially of revenue. We did reach out to the executive director of the Lottery Commission, and he said with it just being such a small amount, it probably wouldn't change the overall estimated transfer of lottery revenue that he anticipates for the biennium. Thank you. Further discussion? Seeing none, 
Motion before us is the adoption of Amendment 1414S. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? No. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? No. And the chair votes yes, and the motion carries five to two. Mr. Chairman? Senator Morse. I just, I know Ways and Means is voting next week on revenues. Um, item number two, I think they need to consider whether or not there was um, $800,000 in revenues left on the table in the House. So. I see Senator Guider taking note. Mr. Chair, I'll move the department as, as passed. As amended. Senator Hennessy moves the Lottery Commission uh, with, with the adopted amendments. Second by Senator Reagan. Discussion? There being none, I will call Senator Morse. Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And the chair votes yes. And the motion passes and the Lottery Commission's budget has been adopted. Mr. Chairman. Senator Morse. Can we hold on the university system, the community college system, and the executive department? Yes. means the next department up is the Department of Administrative Services. And we put uh, number four on hold. Mr. Chairman. Senator Guida. That was informed on my drive down that the contract has been ratified by the employees. And I'm not sure whether that will impact any of these figures, but... Uh, it might. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, we were just informed that upstairs. So we'll be bringing that in sometime next week. Okay, so we'll keep number four on, on hold. <clears throat> well, number four, I don't think that affects what's going on here. I. Items one, two, and three, have we already adopted those? No, right. not up till now. Okay. They have not been adopted. They have not been adopted. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I think what Senator Guida was talking about is a separate issue here. So I'll move items one, two, and three. Second. Okay, so Senator Morris moves items one, two, and three, as seconded by Senator Guida. Discussion? Seeing none, call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. The chair votes yes. Those three sections have been adopted. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item number eight. Um, basically, the House put in language um, that I don't think is workable with the Lakes Region um, facility. The uh, language that the governor had in the budget is the language that I believe should be in there. Okay. Second. Senator Morse moves item number eight, which is amendment 1148S, as seconded by Senator Hennessy. Mr. Chair, may I clarify something? Yeah, this amendment basically clarifies that it has nothing to do with the state park, but I think there's a series of things to 
get us to where we have to be. So, yes, I'll be here. Uh, amendment number 1148 makes it clear that the Ahern State Park is not part of any uh, proposed sale of lakes region facility. There are, there are other conversations concerning um, the property and what the proper uh, process is for disposing of it. But this particular amendment addresses the concerns that Ahern Park may be considered as part of that. Okay, as, as I understand it, uh, it's not included to begin with, but there is a perception by some that it is. So th this amendment will clarify that it is it's not. Belt and suspenders. Right. Any further discussion on number eight? Seeing none, uh, we'll call roll, Senator Moss. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, who seconded that? Was it? Um, Second, Sen Senator Reagan. And roll, Senator Moss. Once yes, again. again. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susi. Mr. Chairman, just to clarify, the motion was to not adopt this amendment? No, the motion was to adopt it. Okay, that's why I want clarification. Thank you. I vote yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. Now the chair votes yes. And amendment 1148 has been adopted. Sir, Senator Rosenwald. Thank you. I, am, I thought I had an amendment, which I've seen, but it's not here and maybe it's somewhere else, that puts into back into House Bill 2 a boilerplate um, amendment on laid off employees that was inadvertently left out of this year's House Bill 2. Yes, I believe uh, we have a separate page. We didn't know if that was going to come up today or during the House okay, Bill 2 so, discussions. But it's about this department. Yes. So it'll come up later. Yes. Thank uh, you. We have it, or it can come up with the rest of the House Bill 2 discussion. Okay. Does that, does that amendment have a number on it yet? I think it does, because I've seen it from all of us. Yes, that would be a, amendment number 1623S. Thank you. Mr. Okay. Chairman. Senator Morse. I'd move the Department of Administrative Services because I believe anything else that's on four, five, six um, will be dealt with in language that would come in in House Bill 2 if we're going to do anything. Okay. Senator Morse moves the uh, House figures for the, for the Department of Administrative Services that is with the amendments we have uh, adopted. Is there a second? Uh, Senator Reagan. Any discussion? Seeing none, Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi. I think Senator Susi, I believe, is probably transferring over to her phone. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And the chair votes yes, and motion carries 6 0. Next is the Department of Revenue Administration. Mr. Chairman, I move item number one. Senator Morris moves item number one. Is there a second? Second. S Senator Hennessy seconds the motion. Uh, this deletes the addition of two auditors. Discussion? Senator Guida. Yeah, I, I'm not certain that uh, you know, we are cutting our nose off in a sense. We're looking down at $3.9 million in revenue for the 
if we establish these two positions of additional revenue. And you know, as chair of chair ways and means, I just wanted to make that comment. Senator Morse. Yeah, I believe what we heard was that there's a person being hired to fill an open position that they have right now as an auditor. Um, I don't know who sat in on that meeting with me. Maybe LBA can clarify that because they were probably there. Um, and the uh, the fact that the uh, we go through this all the time, adding two auditors, um, in my opinion, uh, at this time, with the way businesses are trying to come out of the pandemic, I think it's a mistake. Thank you. Does LBA wish to add? I believe that is the case that they have a vacant auditor that they can fill. Okay, further discussion? Seeing none, uh, we'll call roll. Senator Moss? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi is and Senator Susi. You're muted. Is it star six to unmute? There we go. Senator Susi, the, the motion before us is uh, the deletion of, the, to delete the addition of two auditors in the, in the uh, Revenue Administration. Senator Susi. I believe it sounds like she can't hear us at this time. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? No. And chair votes yes. Uh, motion carries five to one. Mr. Chairman? Senator Morse? I don't think item two will be needed. Item three, I would move um, amendment 1246. Second. Senator Morse moves uh, item number three, that's amendment 1246, which deletes the single, sa single sales factor delay. And that's seconded by Senator Rosenwald. Any discussion? There being none, we'll call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Still not with us. <coughs> Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. Chair, and the chair votes yes. The motion passes 6 0. Hmm. Senator Rosenwald? Thank you. Um, these next four items are amendments of mine. And um, I wonder if we could hold them because I'm guessing I won't get a second if Senator Susie is not on. With no objection. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, I move. Uh, Senator Moss. Uh, I think Aaron was going to do it. So. Okay, recognize Senator Hennessy for a motion. <laughs> I, thank you. I move the Department of Revenue as amended. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Second by Senator Moss. Any discussion? There being none, you're voting on the Department of Revenue Administration figures as amended. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Still not with us. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. The chair votes yes. Motion carries 6 0. Chairman? Senator Morse. Can we hold Department of Employment Security until I get my answers back? And the Department of Agriculture and Markets and Food, who I need to clarify whether it's 550,000 a year they need 
in spending. I'd like to hold those two. So we'll hold the Department of Employment, Security, and Agriculture, which will take us to the Department of Safety. Mr. Chairman. Senator Moss. LBA has been working on a document with Senator D'Alessandro. Um, I, I don't have it. So if they have it. It, um, it should be at everyone's uh, desk. There, there was one that was handed out today. Okay. <laughs> so let me ask LBA a question. If I look at the summary description in the top corner, does it come out to exactly five million dollars in twenty two and five million in twenty three? Uh, within rounding a couple dollars, it does. I have the backup. Uh, when we key it into the system, it may be one or two dollars here or there, but the department got it to round at five million per year of total funds. Is this a separate document? Okay. I know it. That's the chairman. Senator Morris. Yeah. I, I spoke with the governor's office and the department presented us $20 million, $10 million a year um, in ad backs. So I went to the governor's office to ask him what happened during the budget phase. And Matt told me that the uh, this budget was scrutinized pretty hard and we should take a look at some of these ad backs. Um, the ad backs that they're trying to put back if you look at the civilian positions, um, the uh, it it really does make sense that they put those back first. I believe there were 23 trooper positions um, that uh, are not showing here. I don't know if those are those four sworn positions troopers. I believe so. Yes. So they asked for 23, and now they're asking for four. I believe there's four that start in 22 and then six more that start in 23. If you look on page five of this, you'll see the breakout of the uh, state police positions. They, they appear, I believe, starting at uh, number 41 down through 46. And I'm not sure if that's, there's gotta be a couple elsewhere in this document as well. And the current amount of positions that are in the budget are there was 355 minus the 23. Is that what it was? I'd have to defer to the department on, on those numbers. I don't know if you wanted to invite uh, Steve Lavoy in to answer those specifics. I don't have that with me up here. I don't have that document with me either. Um, but that's what I thought I read that there were 355 authorized positions and 23 of them coming out of the governor's budget weren't filled. Yeah, I think you better put them on so I can ask the question. Good afternoon, Mr. Lavoy. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, members of the committee, Steve Lavoy, Director of Administration. Um, Senator Morse, there are 378 authorized sworn positions, and there were 23 that were unfunded, which gets us to our 355 authorized and funded uh, within, within the House version of the budget. So I got the 355 right, but in the wrong direction. The, uh, so 378 is what you had in the last budget? 378 is what we had um as far as funded goes no 355 were in the last budget um 378 were funded several biennium ago and there were positions that were unfunded several biennium ago that we've been carrying as unfunded positions and trying to fund since that time so where will you be compared to the last budget with troopers if we pass this amendment? Uh, we would be at three, at 401, uh, because we'd be adding six 
troopers in total. It would actually be six troopers in total, not 401. Um, would actually be at three, I'm sorry, 359 in year one in 22. And then we would be at 361 in FY 23. Because there are two more positions that are added only in the second year. Okay, I guess I need clarification. I got lost in the math. You currently have 378 authorized. Author, authorized, but not correct, authorized. Okay, what, what is the 23? Those are unfunded positions. So they're okay. authorized, but unfunded, which gets to 355. Okay, got it. Then you wanna put in Four and 22 and six, no. Four and two. 22 and two more. Four, and two more and 22. Four and 22 right. and two and 23. Discussion. Senator Guida. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just for purposes of discussion, are the unfunded, I'm sorry, are the vacant positions vacant because we can't find applicants or because they're not funded? Am I saying that right? Our current vacant positions um, are, are vacant because of timing where we're starting to find applicants, but because of the hiring freeze, um, there's been a delay. And um, with State police troopers with new troopers who need to attend the academy, there's really only three points of entry throughout the year. So those vacancies for our currently funded positions are, are declining with each with each, each new academy class. Thank you. I think the questions that we really want to know there though is you have 355 funded positions, right? How many of those are full? Um, How many are vacant? So right now, uh, I believe 41 are vacant. And I would, I would, which is a large number. Um, but I, again, the, the reason for that was the hiring freeze during COVID. And we are in the process of recovering those and filling those vacancies with the intention of, of, of recovering all of those over the next biennium. So was there any time in the last five years that you were completely filled? No. We, within the last five years, no. Um, we average one and a half retirements a month uh, from the force. So at, at no point are we ever at zero. Um, usually our, our target vacancies would be in the single digits, the high single digits typically, seven or eight positions. Uh, again, because we can't hire new people until an academy comes forward. Thank you. Senator Morse. Mr. Chairman, I'm wondering if what we should do on the troop is, is move the four to 2023 um, because the hiring 41 this in this budget right now is gonna be difficult if we, we try to beef it up in 23, um, put four into that year. Um, I'm not sure what that does for an adjustment for us, but the, it just, I don't think it's logical that we're gonna get 41 and four hired <clears throat> right now. I guess I, guess I, I would agree. Um, with, with, with the statement on the hiring and, and with 41 vacant, I think at this point in time, I would, I would be reluctant to add to that until they have the vacancies filled. Mr. Chair? Yes. Uh, may I, may yes. I make a comment? The, the four positions 
in FY22 are leadership roles within the department, and they provide a level of oversight and management that uh, that is currently um, currently lacking, and help us to achieve some of the recommendations related to the LIAC Commission. So those positions would not be new hires, but would be promotions from within the existing force. Um, to your point, it would create an additional four vacancies at the trooper level as the promotions work their way up. Um, but there is an, an immediate need and an ability to immediately fill those, posi those specific positions. Um, the two positions in the FY23 are new positions. Thank you, Senator Guida. How long have those leadership positions, uh, Steve, been vacant? Uh, since uh, I believe it was 20, 2010 when the, the big reduction occurred. Thank you. Any further discussion? Senator Moss. Mr. Chairman, can we put this on hold till Monday? Yes. We'll put the Department of Safety on hold. Uh, go on to the parole board. Page with that. Yeah, got it. Do you know what the lapse was for safety plan this year? So well, the only thing that we haven't taken action on is uh, Amendment 40, 1430, if it is the desire of- I would move I'll it. move that. Moved by Senator Rosenwald, seconded by Senator Guida. Discussion? Senator Guida. I do have one question, perhaps. Uh, obviously, the board chair can't report to the Commissioner of Corrections, but I think that Senator Morse said they report directly to the governor. Yes. Thank you. And I said, don't make it the Senate president and the speaker. <laughs> I have a note that the chair should report to the governor. Uh, yes, uh, Senator Rosenwald and I. Yeah. Rosenwald and Guida. Yeah. Any further discussion? Amendment 1430S, Senator Moss. Yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susie there. Mr. Chair, sorry to interrupt. This is uh, Kevin Ripple with the LBA. When Senator Susie switched over to her phone, we weren't sure which number to bring over. So Senator Susie, if you're on the call, if you could press star nine to raise your hand, we can bring you over. I feel like I'm in Boston Garden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I would vote yes, Mr. Chairman. Well, thank you, Senator Susie. Good to hear your voice. <laughs> Senator Reagan. I do apologize. Senator, Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. And the chair votes yes, and the motion carries unanimously. Is there a motion on the parole board? I'll yes. move it. The House numbers as amended. It says it was approved already, Mr. Chairman. Um, actually, HB1 was. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. I'll unmove. We'll go on to the Department of Justice. I would move item number 11. 11 or 1? Senator Rosenwald 11. moves item number 11. 11. <laughs> That's a great item. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had this already. Is there a second to the motion? I'll second it. 
Second by Senator Guida. Discussion? Senator Rosenwald. Thank you. These, um, the child advocacy um, centers that are operated by the Granite State Children's Alliance do amazing work with um, how they approach children who have been abused or neglected and sometimes violently assaulted. If you haven't been to visit one, I recommend them highly and Senator Daniels, we have a great one in Nashua. I know they'd be happy to have you come and tour. They're, they're really amazing in how they compassionately work with young children who are so vulnerable. Thank you, further discussion. Motion before us is the adoption of item number 11, uh, which is an amendment to fund the Granite State Children's Alliance. Senator Morse. Yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. And the chair votes yes. The motion carries. Chair, I move items five, six, and seven. Senator Guida moves items five, six, and seven. Is there a second? Second. Second by Senator Rosenwald. Um, <clears throat> item number five is a da data entry error, a correction for that. Uh, number six transfers five positions and eliminates an unneeded accounting unit. And number seven moves an appropriation between class lines to segregate general and federal funds. So it's pretty much housekeeping. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, we will call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Senator Susi. Try Senator Ripple, you might get it. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, this is Kevin Ripple again. I think we've, we appear to have lost her number. Oh no, there she is. Uh, yep, I am here, yes. Okay, thank you, Senator Reagan. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Motion carries and five, six, and seven have been adopted. Is there anything further the committee wishes to take up? Is it item eight? Senator, Senator Guida moves items, which number, sir? Eight. Number eight. Second. We have seconded by Senator Morse uh, to request to budget the transfer of a position from DHHS to justice. Uh, this would include HB2 language to convert the position from a classified position to an unclassified assistant attorney position. Uh, the position will be funded with by a transfer from DHHS to justice. Any discussion? Seeing none, call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. The chair votes yes. Motion carries. Mr. Chairman. Senator Morse. I move item number 10. Senator Morse moves item number 10. Second. With, and that's second by Senator Rosenwald. This is an amendment to restore funds to the Media Power Youth Program. Discussion. Seeing none. Call roll, Senator Morse. Yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. And the chair will vote yes. Motion carries. Mr. Chairman. Senator Morse. I'll move item number one. Second. Senator, Senator Morse moves item number one and that's seconded by Senator Guida. Item number one, request a new attorney position and to restore funding for a legal secretary three. Discussion. 
Senator Guida. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is for a attorney position in the election law unit. Currently, we have one attorney assigned, and uh, clearly that seems not to be enough. Thank you. Further discussion? Seeing none, we'll call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? No. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And the chair will vote yes. Motion carries six to one. Mr. Chairman. Senator Morse? I move the uh, Department of Justice. Second. Senator Morse moves the, the budget for the, for the Department of Justice uh, with amendments. That's seconded by Senator Guida. Senator Rosenwald. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. I had my hand up because I wanted to move item number two. You. I can withdraw my motion, but I'm not supporting item two, three, or four, so. Okay. Uh, Senator Morse withdraws his amendment, uh, excuse me, his motion. Uh, chair recognizes Senator Rosenwald. Thank you. I would move item number two. Is there a second? I would second that motion. Okay, Senator by Senator. This is Senator Susie. By, by Senator yes, Susie. I do. Uh, this is a request for a new attorney position for multi-state litig litigation discussion. Senator Rosenwald. Thank you. Um, I think this important bureau has been under-resourced since I've been in the legislature the 16 years. And we've seen litigation in the Civil Bureau get extremely complicated um, and I think it is worth it on behalf of consumers in New Hampshire. I can count, so I know where it's going, but I think it's important. Thank you. Any further discussion? There have been none. The motion before us is the adoption of item number two. We'll call roll, Senator Morse? No. Senator Hennessy? No. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Senator Guida? No. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. The chair will vote no. Motion fails two to five. Thank you. I'll sec accept uh, Senator Morse's uh, motion to approve the Department of Justice, unless you had others. <laughs> Second. Oh, somebody else had. Sorry. Oh, I no, I'm sorry. I, I, I was asking if, you, if does anyone have any other action? If, any move move anything else before we take up the department? Okay, not hearing anything. I will accept Senator Morse's motion to approve the Department of Justice as amended. That's seconded by Senator Guida. Discussion. There being none, call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And the chair votes yes, and the motion carries. Mr. Chairman? Senator Morse? The uh... After listening to you, um, <laughs> I would move item one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven in Department of Information Technology. Okay, Senator Morse moves all items. And I'm, I'm sorry, you said where? DOIT. DOIT, okay. Senator Morse moves items one through seven in the Department of Information Technology. Is there a second? Second. Second, second. by Senator Rosa Wald. Discussion. Mm. 
No discussion? Okay, uh, you ready for the vote? Oh, I do have one question. One question, Senator Guida. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As I'm looking at item six, it says fund 12 of the 13 remaining unfunded shared service positions and allocate the source of funds accordingly. Four were previously funded, one will remain unfunded. So we are adding eight more funded positions. Sorry, what item are you looking at? Item six. Six. I would ask LBA to explain all of this. <clears throat> yes, thank you. Number six would fund 12 positions that were unfunded by the agency to meet their um, assigned target. Thank you. I think you have more questions, Senator McGuire. Yeah, I said four were previously funded. Yes, that the House funded four of the positions. So by previously, yes. they, they don't mean like last year and the year before, they mean just by the house? No, the, the 12 are the remaining unfunded positions. They're actually uh, 17, I believe. The house restored funding for four, and this item would restore funding for the Additional 12 eight. of the remaining positions. Item seven is the last uh, unfunded position. It just happens to be in a different account I see. So to understand then that the 12 or that those 13 unfunded unfunded positions were previously funded, but to meet their target, they unfunded them. Correct. Thank you. Just a question if, uh, see on items three and four have to do with licenses and, and insurance costs. Uh, what happens if those are not funded? They, would they need to find the money within their budget to cover that? Or I presume that we would what? not go without insurance? Well, I think the nature of their budget is um, they're funded by all the other agencies and the service they, services they provide. So if the insurance was not funded, it, they would either purchase less and expose risk in those areas or um, have to reduce some other service that they're already providing. I'm going, going back to num number six, uh, just the note below where it says see above. Are we talking about above, how far above? So number six is split between general funds on the top row and that see above is just to kind of tie those two together. That's the other and federal <laughs> funds for the same, same action. So okay. six has a general fund line and then a other, other and federal fund line. And you define what network switches are? I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. Uh, what, what, in number five, what are network switches? I can give you a non-technical uh, answer. It's part of the infrastructure that all the state agencies need to communicate, access um, internet, email. Um, and do we know if these items have been presented to the house or not? I think these are additional items not funded by the house. I'd have to go back and look at the house presentation. Um, I believe we have a commissioner available 
um, if you'd like to hear it directly from the department. Yeah, if we could, please. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. Um, can you hear me all right? Yes, we can, Dennis. Okay, thank you. Um, for the record, Dennis Goulet, uh, Commissioner of the Department of Information Technology. I heard two questions, I think. Um, one was around whether those items, an item in question, the network switches, and the other were in the uh, requested at the House level. They were as well. We, we pulled those out uh, uh, during the governor's phase to make our target, um, and we'll... Um, and we did ask for them back in the house phase as well. And so we didn't add them during this phase. Uh, in fact, I don't believe we added anything new during the Senate phase. Um, and uh, going back to the specific question about network switches, uh, I think LBA did a great job of explaining. It is part of our core infrastructure that we would run the um, state with, and we would indeed have to scrounge elsewhere to make this happen. We're not exactly sure how we would do that at this point, uh, but we were really, um, in that particular area of shared services, we were really um, digging pretty deep to get our general funds target during during the governor's phase. Thank you. And what was it, do you have an idea what the expectation of the house was in not approving things like insurance and licenses? Well, the, the insurance was a developing thing, and that insurance is actually not the total insurance, uh, cyber insurance cost. It's the estimated increase year over year. Um, the, as, you, as you might guess, since the liability, cyber liability is increasing a lot, our carriers are telling us to expect an increase. So we originally budgeted a, a lower amount in the house phase so I actually am incorrect in saying I didn't ask for anything more in this phase. Uh, we originally budgeted a lower amount, which is in the budget now. And this is the, uh, the anticipated additional amount as we're going through the renewal process now, which is fairly lengthy. We have to establish what our cyber posture is and what we're doing well and what they think we're not doing well so they can set their rates. But everybody's cyber insurance uh, particularly state governments and, and uh, uh, entities that are targeted are going up quite a lot. And as I, I testified during the our earlier testimony, we are evaluating this program right now to, to make sure that we really are spending the money in the, in the smartest way possible. Um, so this, this represents our knowledge, the best that we have it now. Within two or three months, we're gonna have much better knowledge. So there's a bit of a timing issue right, right now on this. Thank you. I guess one final question. Are any of these items at a higher priority for you than things that have already been adopted for the budget? No, sir, Mr. Chair. We, we, um, we would not change our prioritization at this time. We, we left the absolute musts in um, during, the, during the governor's phase, and I wouldn't um, reprioritize at this time. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion? That there being none, uh, we'll call roll. Senator Morse. Yes. Motion, I'm sorry, motion before us is, is to uh, approve items one through seven. Um, Senator Morse has voted yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susie. Yes. yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. Uh, chair votes no. Motion carries six to one. Mr. Chair, I move the Department of Information Technology as amended. Second. Senator, Moore, uh, Senator Hennessy moves the Department of Information Technology as amended. That's seconded by Senator Guida. Further discussion? Seeing none, uh, Senator Morse. Yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Reagan. Senator Guida? Yes. 
Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And chair votes no. Motion carries six to one. Go on to the Department of Corrections. Mr. Chairman. Senator Morse. Item number four, um, I drafted language for Wednesday for House Bill 2. Um, so beyond that, I'd move the Department of Corrections. Senator Morse moves the Department of Corrections budget uh, as presented by the House. That's seconded by Senator Hennessy. Any discussion, Senator Rosenwald? Thank you. Just um, my memory is that we already took a vote on item number one, so it already lost. Am I right, or did I dream this? I thought that we did discuss it last week when we first took up the apartment, the, the department to fund the six teachers. I have the, I have the same memory. Okay. So, so we've already tried that. So, okay. Thank you. Okay. Any further discussion? Motion before us is the adoption of the Department of Corrections budget. Call roll, Senator Morse. Yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. No. And the chair votes yes. Motion carries six to one. Department of Education. Senator Morse. I'll move item number two. Senator Morse moves item number two. Second. Second by Senator Guida. Discussion? Is there being none? Uh, this is a request to change the source of funds for an existing administrative four position from federal to general. Uh, total net, the total funds net zero. Um, Seeing no further discussion, call roll, Senator Morse. Yes. Senator Hennessy. Yes. Senator Susi. Yes. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. Yes. The chair votes yes, the motion carries. Chairman. Senator Morse. I remember we went through a long discussion the other day about which items could go to fiscal and not go to fiscal. Um, item number six, um, LBA is saying needs to be done by us in order to establish a position for the future. I move um, item six. Okay, so okay. Senator Morse moves item number six. Second. That's second by Senator Guider. This is a request to establish a new accounting unit for the consolidation of ESEA admin. Uh, to move one existing position into it, so uh, a net zero uh, total funds change. Discussion? Seeing none, call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Yes. Senator Reagan? Yes. Senator Guida? Yes. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Motion carries. And we, we did vote before and we had voted and accepted item number three and that four, five, and seven now would uh, could go before fiscal. Well, four, five, and seven can four, go. Four, five, and seven. <clears throat> Senator Rosenwald. Thank you. I'd like to move item number nine because it's Friday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to try to be like Senator D'Alessandro. Okay. <laughs> Sen <clears throat> Senator Rosenwald moves item number nine, which is amendment 1321. Is there a second on that? 
I would second that. Seconded by, <clears throat> seconded by Senator Susi. Uh, this extends the fiscal capacity disparity aid and additional aid based on free and reduced price <clears throat> eligible students through fiscal year 2023. Senator Morse. Hey, Mr. Chairman, I, uh, I'll be voting against um, Senator Rosenwald and Alessandro's amendment, but um, I believe we're going to have to deal with um, all these changes um, in education funding on Wednesday next week. I, I believe meetings are happening to find out what we need to, in order to accept federal money that's coming into the state, we have to meet some levels. <coughs> we're going through all that, which we, we're, not, we're not ready for. So, so anyhow, um, I won't be supporting the disparity. Okay, anything further, Senator Rosenwald? Thank you. Um, I understand this has a large price tag, but um, I think we need to hold our communities harmless and the free and reduced um, aid is very important. In addition, the fiscal disparity aid helps the communities that most need it. It's all been said before, so I don't think I need to spend a long time saving it, saying it, but I hope we all have a great American day. <laughs> <laughs> Senator D'Alessandro would be proud of you. Thank you. Um, any further discussion? Mr. Chair. Senator Susi. Oh, I'm sorry, Senator Hennessy. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to, um, to to Senator Morse's point, I have a meeting with the department and with the governor's office on Monday to work on this formula. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, the motion before us is the adoption of item number nine. Senator Morse. No. Senator Hennessy. No. Senator Susi. A great American, yes. <laughs> Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida? No. Senator Rosenwald? Yes. And the chair votes no. Motion fails two to five. Mr. Chairman, Senator I move Morse. The Department of Education. Senator Moss moves the Department of Education with amendments. Is there a second? Second by Senator Guida. Any discussion? There being none, we'll call roll. Senator Morse? Yes. Senator Hennessy? Yes. Senator Susi? Senator Susi. Senator Reagan. Yes. Senator Guida. Yes. Senator Rosenwald. No. Senator Susi. Yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, no. I'm voting no. I'm sorry. Okay. I was unable to connect before. That's okay. Uh, chair votes yes. Motion carries five to two. I know that we have some things for health and human services uh, on hold for Monday. Are there any divisions that we can take up on hold for everything? Mr. Ripple might be able to answer that, and I think he's listening. Yep, I'm right here. Um, we do have items on hold 
for HHS. I didn't think they were going to come up today, but I have a packet that I can bring over in about, uh, I can be there in about one minute and we can hand those out and get started if you'd like. Are there, are there items in each uh, division that, that are on hold? There are items in every division, yes. So we just put this off till Monday then. That way you don't have to worry about coming over. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, with that, move to adjourn. Second. Motion by Senator Guy. <laughs> oh, just adjourn. Oh. Oh. That's a yes. Well, I can't see Senator Susie. She's on. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, and the rest of them have hands up, so we we are adjourned.